This episode is sponsored by Where to Shop and Dine. Download the app on Google Play Store or Apple App Store today. Connecting colleges and communities. Hi, and you're watching Scene TV. I'm Maya McNulty, your host. Schenectady Cable Entertainment News and Events. Welcome back. Here in the studio today, excited to have my good friend Dale LaCur. Dale is a health and wellness coach here locally in the Capital Region, and I'm excited to learn about her health and wellness program that she offers. So Dale, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Maya. It's awesome to be here. Great. I've been actually talking to you for a while about your health and wellness um, business, and you know you're really passionate about it and so i really want to get it out here now that it's springtime we see more activity happening in the area people are running kids are out on the soccer fields and mm -hmm. softball and baseball has started so tell us tell us your story and then we can find out what you're doing to help these athletes and we can even talk about your son um so yeah go ahead and tell us fantastic thank you so much again for having me this is truly my passion is health and wellness and it kind of goes back quite a while to when I was a little girl and my father was diagnosed with cancer and back then they really didn't do chemo and radiation so he sought out some alternative treatment and luckily he lived for another 45 years after that mm -hmm. so that really sparked me you know into this path uh, I my grandfather was actually a pharmacist but he was the kind of pharmacist that you would go to him and he would give you a home remedy. He would tell you to take vinegar or aloe vera or you know these types of things. So this is how I grew up. And I continued that with my five children. You know, we did a lot of home remedies, you know, garlic oil and all sorts of crazy things. I used to have um, my kids crack up when they would go to get ice cubes, it would, they would be green you know, because I would make them into juice greens. <laughs> and they'd be like, what is this? And they, their friends would come over like, what is this with uh -huh. your ice cubes? <laughs> so I've always been really into health and wellness. So that's kind of where it started. Great. And what, what has influenced this path? Like, um, what was really the aha moment that says, this is my passion and this is the answer and you want to help millions of people. So, so how did this path influence you? I truly believe that you have to have a healthy body that it, in order to have a healthy mind and to have a good spirit and to have energy throughout your day and to really become, you know, the best person that you can become is just you have to pay attention to your body. So it's always been, you know, on my priority list, you know, health has always been something that I truly believe we need to focus a little bit more on. I know we're living in a very fast-paced society and we don't necessarily take care of ourselves, especially moms. You know, they're notorious for taking care of everyone else but themselves. So I'm, you know, I'm passionate about showing them a way that they can too, you know, take care of others but take care of themselves. Great. So how are you doing this? How are you helping people? What are the steps that you're helping people to take? So I encourage people to, you know, let's just go through a couple of things that I feel are really necessary in creating good health. One is water. You know, there's so many people walking around dehydrated. And when you're dehydrated, you have headaches, you have other problems internally in your system that our cleansing system is maybe not working correctly. You know, we're not... Um, feeling very well in the stomach area, you know, so water mm -hmm. is really, really key and it will definitely increase energy levels and just keep things going. And again, you know, the water that you choose hopefully is purified water, not something that you drink from the tap because we know that those are mm -hmm. full of toxins and we need to be really, really careful about ingesting toxins. Sure. So tell us, what are some of the difference between spring water, the fluoride water from our tap, purified water, what, what's some of the differences? Well, spring water is not regulated, so we really do have to be diligent. I think the best way and the most economical way to get clean water is to buy a system that you either attach in your home or on your sink. I mean, that's really easy to do. Just go and look consumer reports and Google and see which filter gets out the most impurities in your water. And then just purchase that, hook it up to your sink and start, you know, carrying your water bottle with you. I think it becomes a habit. Mm -hmm. You know, once you, you get into it, I mean, the goal is to get half of your body weight in ounces of water, which is quite a bit of water when you think about it, because people will say, oh, I drink a lot of water. I'll say, well, measure it, you know, see how much you're really getting mm -hmm. and then go from there. And you'll notice such a difference in just your energy levels and, and you know, just overall, your skin, you know, helps with a lot of things. So Dale has a challenge for you. Measure your body weight. 
or say it again, measure half your of, water. Right, half of, um, half of your body weight in ounces of water per day. Okay, so, so if you weigh one. 200 pounds, you want to get 100 ounces of water, which is quite a bit. So you don't want to do that tomorrow. You want to kind of gradually increase it as you go along. Okay, great. And then we have to couple this with nutrition and food, right? So tell Absolutely. us about that. So, you know, we know that the soils are depleted. We know that an apple in the 50s, you would need to eat 12 apples to equivalent, be the equivalent nutritive value of that. You know, we know that the foods are depleted. We know that there's some not good things in our food. So we try to eat as clean as possible. So when you're purchasing meat, I think it's great to buy from a local farmer. Um, so you know that they're not injected with hormones and antibiotics and they're fed, you know, good things to eat. Um, I like to purchase locally also. Uh, in terms of vegetables, you know, if you can go to a farmer's market, those vegetables are going to be alive. They're going to be, have just been picked and they're not sitting on the store for, you know, weeks and months and transported across the country. So as best you can, you know, buy locally. Um, try not to cook it, you know, the vegetables like to really, really high temperatures where you're boiling all the nutrients out of it. You want to try to eat some raw and then some like steamed a little bit. So lots and lots of vegetables, fruits, again, um, fruits you kind of have to be careful in terms of you know, purchasing organic because a lot of fruits are sprayed a lot, especially apples, um, any of your berries, you know, you need to really make sure that they're organic so they don't have the pesticides and herbicides mm -hmm. in them. So you're keeping your body as clean as possible. Good. You know, this lifestyle has become like clockwork for you and you've implemented this in your family so tell us about some of the like your son for example and how that's increased his well-being and even his being a bodybuilder right absolutely yeah so tell us about that so you know my son is uh it's a great joy to me as all my kids as are you, light up you know as i light up yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, but he you know especially you know some of your children you teach this healthy lifestyle you teach the clean eating some of them go more into it than others um, he has really embraced it because he is um, naturally an athlete. I knew that from the time he was two years old. Uh, but he is now a pro bodybuilder. I'm very proud to say he earned his pro card uh, at the age of 24, I believe, or 23. Uh, he'd been competing since he was 16, 17. And he is all about, you know, eating clean protein, eating six meals a day, you know, exercising, really pushing his body. Uh, again, clean water, he does not consume anything that's not good for him. Like sugar, he doesn't do anything like that. He doesn't drink alcohol. He's just very, very clean and very respectful of his body, which is really what I wanted to teach my children. You know, mm -hmm. And I feel it, that goes deep into many levels of their life. You teach them how to respect their body and put good things into it. It has a different, it takes on a different path in their life. They're really more resistant to maybe the alcohol or the drugs or, you know, mm -hmm. to just give them a good foundation of this is your body, respect it. Yeah, so we just talked about what you shouldn't drink. So tell us about some foods that you should eat. Okay, <laughs> so foods that you should eat. Lots of vegetables, organic, like I said, organic meats if you can. Uh, cheeses are best to have organic as well. As many greens as you can. There's a, there's a, alkaline acidic food chart that's around. And if you Google alkaline foods, those are the types of foods that are really gonna put your body into a very healing state. And there's, most of them are greens, you'll see, that most of them are the, the deep, rich greens, vegetables, you know, fruits. How long have you been on this nutritional uh, cleansing path and as a wellness and health coach? I was introduced to a system, so prior to you know, my company now, um, I have, like I said, I always ate organic and, and took tons of vitamins. I worked in health food stores for about 20 years. Um, I don't have a nutrition degree, but I've been studying nutrition for a very long time and practicing you know, homemade remedies and, and holistic healing mm -hmm. for a long, long time. Um, so prior to that, like I said, I was very healthy, but I had this inflammation that occurred in my wrist and up into my elbow. So I sought out alternative treatment, again, happened to be my chiropractor. 
And we were trying different things. We were trying different modalities, different therapies, different supplements, and nothing was really cutting it. Mm -hmm. So my chiropractor introduced me to a system of cleansing, which I really hadn't done a lot of. I had done some organ-specific cleanses, but he introduced me to a system that was a total body cellular cleanse. Mm -hmm. And at that point, we couldn't find anything that was making this go away, and it was really debilitating. So I said, let me give it a shot. And I was unbelievably uh, excited because within a couple of days, I felt different. And I could tell that my body was changing. Mm -hmm. So within two weeks, the inflammation was completely gone. Uh, I ended up having um, my skin cleared up amazingly. Uh, I dropped like three pant sizes, which was an incredible side benefit, which I was very happy about. And then I realized, you know, through, I kind of did my research backwards and realized what was in this system that made my body like really start to heal itself. Mm -hmm. And so what I learned was that the minerals are really missing. And like I said earlier, the minerals are missing from our food supply. They're, they're not in the soil and they're not in our food. Mm -hmm. So the minerals are really what puts your body in a very alkaline state. And I mentioned alkalinity before. Uh, so this is a system where your body is put in a more alkaline state. And when you do that, inflammation is reduced, you burn fat more efficiently. Your body just puts it in, it's just put in a place where it begins to heal itself. And that's what our bodies are designed to do. Our bodies were set up that way, that we're designed to heal itself and regenerate. So we need to um, you know, become more alkaline, and that's what this system did. So I've been now, you know, that really set me on a path because it's such a simple system anybody can do it mm -hmm. and it's not complicated and you don't have to measure and count calories and you don't have to you can't have this and you can't have that i mean i encourage people to eat clean mm -hmm. you know and absolutely get the water in but it's a simple system and in the the way that we live these days we need something that's convenient and simple and easy yeah and it's going to bring results i you know um there's a lot of home remedies for cleansing is cleansing important i guess that's my big question is cleansing important Cleansing is extremely important, mm -hmm. and we're probably the only culture in the world that doesn't cleanse on a regular basis and use it as a practice. Um, our bodies obviously are born with cleansing systems, you know, the liver, the kidney, the lymphatic system, et cetera, et cetera. But because our, our environment is overloaded with toxins and the foods that we eat are not very clean, um, we really need to assist the body. So this type of cleanse is a cellular cleanse, and what it does is it feeds our cleansing systems the nutrients that they need mm -hmm. to do their job more efficiently. So it's it's not like we're doing it to it, we're giving it the nutrients that it needs. For example, the liver needs excessive uh -huh. amounts of B, B complex, so the cleanse will give it that. Um, just different herbs that will yeah. assist the cleansing systems in their body to do their, their job more efficiently. Burdock for the blood system, et cetera, et cetera. I love this information. Thank you so much. How do we get in touch with you, Dale? Uh, you can get in touch with me by dialing. I'd love to talk to you. I'm really happy to get people on a path. It'd be just a simple path that they can follow to feel better so they can have a better life and that they can be more productive in their life. So my number is 518-755-6550, and I'm really happy to help you get on a path you know, that will increase your life. Again, it's 518-755-6550. Thank you so much for having me. I am so delighted you, see, you shared such great information and knowledge. Um, one more thing. Tell us again what your favorite, like what a meal would consist of for you in a day. Like I like to have clean protein, like I said. Um, I do do a lot of shakes because they're easy and convenient. Uh, lots of green vegetables. I love to saute all sorts of collard greens and kale and that type of thing. Um, I do whole grains, brown rice, maybe quinoa, something along those lines. But a lot, lots of protein and lots of greens. Great. Dale, thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to have you on CNTV. Thank you Thanks so for coming much, by. Yes. Thank you. Have a great one. Thanks, Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you.